Okay, Luke 18, verse 18 to 19. A ruler questioned him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Jesus just said three distinct things in this command, and it's very, very profound. In fact, verse 19 set Christianity apart from other religion. Okay, let me explain. Firstly, good and righteousness is not a range on a scale, but a point. We cannot measure good or righteousness on a scale from 1 to 10. We are either good or not good. We cannot be a little good or mostly good, right? Other religion measure good on a scale, meaning that the more good we are, the better chance we get to heaven. The less good we are, the more likely we go to hell. Jesus says here, no one is good but God alone. Okay, that, that means we are all bad and we don't have a chance of getting into heaven, right? Well, not really. I'll tell you later. Secondly, it is God who defines what is good. Since he's the one who decides who goes to heaven or who aren't, right? So only God can set that standard of good. We do not get to define it. It is his heaven, not our heaven. So the only thing that we should care about then is whether we meet his standard or we don't. Whatever, his, whatever standard that he uses to qualify me into the heaven, that is all I care to know. Thirdly, only God can meet that standard and no man can reach that standards of good. We are all bad since the day we are born because of Adam's sins. So do I still have a chance of getting into heaven? Yes, absolutely. How can I ever reach God's standards of good then? Through his son Jesus Christ who has already paid our badness or unrighteousness in full to God the Father by his blood on the cross. So friends, Believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior, okay? Confess your sin and invite Him into your life. That is the only way to be perfect in righteousness and good in His eyes.